C8 paint. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, I am going over the top five things I hate about my Can-Am Riker. So obviously I don't hate, hate the vehicle, but I guess you could even say top five things I would change, I dislike. Uh, maybe for some of you people that are coming in that are about to buy a Riker, things you should know about it. We're going to get into the list. Hit that subscribe button for me right now. Most of you guys that are watching this right now are not even subscribed to my channel. It don't cost you nothing. Will you just please go to the middle of the screen and look to the right? If you see that subscribe button in red, would you pretty please just hit it for me? If you enjoy the video, like the video. If you hate the video, hit, hit the dislike button. Cool. Let's get into the video. Up first, the fuel tank. Listen. I am out of gas normally. I'm putting regular in my Riker, regular gas in it, you know, to start when I first got it. I'm probably out of gas at about 100 miles, about 90 with the way I keep hitting that throttle. Now, yes, if you keep hitting the throttle over and over and you study, you know, just you just on it. Yeah, you can expect for the bike to run out of gas faster, right? So that's on me. I got it. Clearly, I could have did a better job at that, right? But as you can see, it is about a five-gallon gas tank. Right now in Chicago, if you put regular gas in, um, it, it costs about $14.50, $14.50, $14 $14.75 or so. If you're in the city, the gas is a little higher, so it might be a little bit above $15. And then you're back out of gas. In less than 100 miles. Some people say they get 140 out of these tanks. I've never gotten 140 out of my tank. It's normally around. If I don't get all the way on it, I might be able to last um, to 115 miles or something before I'm out of gas. Next up, number two, squeaks and noises. Most of the noises are coming from this thing on the side, the little, I don't know what you want to call it, filter holder. That's where it's coming from. So even on the new ones, you know, the bike has a ton of vibration. There's so much plastic on the bike itself. So this piece right in there, that thing just rattles like crazy. Now, some people get installation and put it on the inside um, to try to, you know, minimize that. But that thing is loud on both sides. And it just depends on, you know, how your bike was put together in some way. I've, I've heard it very loud. And I've heard it very minimal. So that piece right there on the side, that thing can get noisy. Let's get to number three. Number three, the price. The increased cost year after year. If you want a brand new one right now, let's say uh, 2024 Riker Sport 900 Ace is $12,499. That's not even the rally, y'all. That's just the sport. I do like them bomb rims on the sport, though. I will say that. The rally is $14,599. Y'all see them new silver wheels on it for 2024? $14,599. Now, on top of this, most of the dealers are charging anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 to put it together. Then you have to deal with the taxes. So let's say if the taxes are like 10%. Of the cost of the bike. So now you just put an extra $1,500 on here for the dealer to deliver it, as they say, and assemble it. So you're looking at $16,000, then another, whatever you want to say, $1,500 or whatever it is in taxes. You out the door, you get warranties and this and that. You might be out the door at $20,000 on this damn bike now. You got the 2024 Riker 900 Ace. This is the one that I purchased back when. When I purchased mine, it was $8,600. I was getting it with some type of rebate or something like that. I purchased mine for $8,600. bucks. 8600 plus the taxes. I put on like $700 for a warranty, and the warranty was only good for like three years. And then to assemble my bike, it was $600. But if I can remember, I think I worked out a deal where I got it for half or something like that. But like now, look at that. It's at $11,299. You add the build of trying to, you know, them, as they say, deliver it, build the bike, assemble it, 
of fifteen hundred bucks as well as the taxes. Hey, you have to do it on a regular 2024 Riker 900 Ace. You have to do it probably like 15,000, you know, 15,000, 16,000, depending on what type of warranties you add to it. Then we got that 2024 Riker 600 Ace. This is at $9,599. When I was first starting out with these in 2019, that price was right at like seven nine 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 nine. You know what I mean? It was basically right at eight thousand dollars. So when we go into it, if you, these are the prices back in twenty nineteen, so it's saying hey, that six hundred was at eighty five hundred. Uh, the regular nine hundred was at ten thousand. The rally version was at ten thousand, uh, basically eleven thousand. So if we look at the cost from twenty nineteen until now, the rally has went up thirty six hundred bucks. So again, from 2019 to 2024, the rally has a difference. It has went up to 3,600 bucks. The 600 has went up 1,100 bucks. The 900 Ace has went up 1,300 bucks. Get in the comment section right now. And let me know did you, what price did you pay for yours in 2019, or if you just recently purchased one, how much did you buy buy it for? So if we extrapolate that cost and we do a little math, who knows? Five years from now, right? What will these bikes cost? If we're saying five years from now, the Riker Rally will be closer to $20,000. Are you still going to buy it? So that's number three, the increased cost of these bikes and the dealer delivery fees and how much they charge to assemble it. That's number three. Let's go on to number four. No cruise control. You can buy these little cheap things for ten dollars. You know, you could just rest your wrist and they they're good and this and that, but they eventually like wear out very quick. So I just stopped using them. But if you are on a long ride, you can use these. And honestly, they do work, but they just stretch out very fast and they're no good. Uh, for the rallies, you got this cruise control button. I actually think they're on the sports too, the new sports, but they're definitely on the rallies. 2022, 2023, 2024, you get a cruise control button. I'm going to be honest. I had a problem using this cruise control button. I still don't really know how to use it. <laughs> so get in the comment section and let me know on your rally. Do you have a problem using this cruise control button? Because And if you do, don't have a problem, can you get in the comment section and tell us how to properly use it? At what speed can you turn it on? How do you turn it on? Because I still have not figured that out. Um, some people go get this thing called the Atlas lock and I did try this and it's, it's, it's trash. It's like 50 bucks. Some people charge a hundred for it. Don't get this for your, uh, Riker. It's trash. It's not even worth putting on it. It doesn't work. This is the spider one. So, you know, you know, I got to throw some spider content in there real quick, right? But this is a cruise control for the spider. And here's. You see it? That that thing, that thing, whoo, that's it right there. I got to have cruise control on a bike. I wish they would add cruise control, a better, easier cruise control on the Rikers. But this is the one for the rally, and I love it, and it's easy to use. Let's go to number five, our last, last thing before we close the video out. This company right here, man. That company right there, they're going to take all your money. All of your money. They're going to take it all, y'all. Because after you purchase the bike, you are on Sling Mod like every day. If you're not on Sling Mod, you're messing with Show Chrome. These companies are going to take all your money for these bikes. After you purchase the bike and this and that, what did we say? You're going to purchase that rally out the door for like $18,000, whatever the number is. You're going to spend another four to 5000 trying to fix the damn thing up. Lord Jesus, all your money is just going to affirm and this and that and all the other crap ways that we could purchase things to put us in more debt. You guys are just going to be on show chrome, just purchasing away. Right. So, you know, you need your speakers. You know, you need your speakers, right? Got to have them. Y'all buying footrests, floorboards. Hey, what is this on the back of this bike? What? Okay. I, I don't. The hell's. What is that? I don't even know. Okay. So, again, you're going to be buying 
all types of stuff for this bike. You name it, you're going to buy it. Wraps, uh, exhaust, floorboards, back seats. Showcron going to take all your money, right? Sling Mod going to take all your money. It is what it is. So when you purchase one of these bikes, if you have not purchased one yet, some of you guys go down to the dealerships. You see my bike or something like that. You go down to the dealership and think that my bike is going to be one of the bikes you can buy down there or something. It's going to look just like it or something. Nope. You're getting this plain old regular smegler, and then you got to build it out, and it's going to take you another four to 5000 to build it out. As I tell people, build your bike out over three years. First season, get you a little windshield, get you uh, you know, um, some floorboards, maybe some rims or whatever. Don't try to do it all in one season. You're going to go broke. So that's my suggestion on things, right? Y'all know it, man. I got the Riker, got the Spider. Y'all see all the accessories on it. Shout out to all the companies that helped me with the accessories. But guys, don't go broke buying all these damn accessories. Look at that. Oh, that thing popping off there. You can't lie. That thing popping. Woo. Before we end the video, I wanted to talk about where I'm going to be. Where will I be on? I'm going to be there from March, I think it's 21st to the 25th of this year. I am going to be at the Houston Walk. Houston, we have a problem. Your boy going to be there. I'm definitely going to be at Rodeo Night, March 23rd. I'm definitely going to be there. Doors open at 10. I'm going to be at Rodeo Night. Yeah, I'm going to be at Rodeo Night. So don't meet me there. Beat me there. I will be at the Houston WAP this year. Uh, we got a little itinerary where we got going on on Thursday. It's a boat party. Okay, got a little ride out on Friday. Now we're going to a bar. Of course, Saturday, you know, my most interesting thing is rodeo night, but we got other things going on, parties, so on and so forth. Uh, and then Sunday, we got more going on. We got another party. So, I'm going to be there from like Thursday to Monday, having me a good old time. I am bringing, what y'all think I'm going to bring? Am I going to bring the spider, man, or am I going to bring the spider? Yep, you guessed it right. I'm going to bring the spider this year because last year I bought the Riker. So this year we're going with the spider. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me right now. And become a part of this three-wheel community. As always, stay safe. Until next time, my friends, C.A. Pate out.